So we've added the course content area to the VB9 sample course. What we have to do next is actually upload content to this course. To do this, we need to go to the content collection. So select content collection. Again, we've got different levels of content. BB3, this is our course. This is the course level. Um, S-Dowling content, this is my own personal level. It's not course specific. All courses content, again, if I click on this, I can see all the courses that I'm, I'm teaching and the organizations and the institution content are at higher level. But for this course, it's only the first one that we're interested in, BB3, the course code. Okay, in your courses, it will be your initial plus second name, it will be the course code. So here we need to upload files. And fortunately, this is one of the areas where BB9 is much better than Blackboard Vista. It's very easy to upload whole folders and subfolders. The whole folder um, structure can be uploaded in one go to BB9. So what I want to do now is upload files. Okay, there are two ways to upload files. The first way is to do a traditional browse and to upload. The second way is to drag and drop from your computer. So if I wanted to browse, probably the easiest way is to just to browse. Let's go to browse and on the desktop I had my course content. So I want to open this, okay, so just by we have all the subdirectories underneath that. We don't have to copy that. Just copy course content and click on open. As you can see, course content, the subfolders and the sub subfolders have been put in there with all the documents. So they've got all X's here at the moment. If you want to remove any of these, you can remove them. I'm happy with all of these. I want to submit now. So click on submit. As you can see, the upload progress is, is going here. So this is a lot easier than, than Blackboard Vista. In Blackboard Vista with problems with NetDrive. Now all the course content has been put in there. Click on that. We've got important documents, learning modules, module one, and we have all the uh, the content from module one in here. So ideally what you need to do before adding content to your Blackboard 9 course is you should finalize it first on your own computer or on whatever drive storage area. Once all the content has been finalized, upload it in one go to your Blackboard 9 course.